All right, in this video, we're going to solve a couple exponential equations. I'm not going to show you all the details, but I will guide you through the process and then provide you with your, the answers so you can check your work. Okay, so the first problem, um, actually, the instructions for both of the problems will be to solve. And I will also want you to be able to round answers to, let's say, the nearest thousandth. So you'll definitely need a calculator for this, um, preferably one that had, where you can type in a log of any base or you know the change of base formula. So in either case, you'll be able to do that. So the first problem that we're going to solve will be 6 plus 2 to the 3x minus 1 power equals 20. Okay, so the idea here is that the x is up here in the exponent. So we've got to start getting rid of all the layers, everything surrounding the x. We need to get rid of all this stuff to get x by itself. So the first thing you want to do is isolate this guy. So that means get rid of the 6. So at this point, once the 6 is gone, you'll have 2 to the 3x minus 1 equals something. Okay? Now the next thing you want to do is get rid of the base of 2. So how do you undo or cancel, cancel, sorry I said that weird, cancel a, an exponential in base 2. So do that to both sides, whatever you do on the left side, make sure to do on the right side. And then at that point you're going to be left with 3x minus 1 equals something. And now it's simple. Now you're going to add the 1 and divide by 3. Add the 1 and divide by 3, and you'll have x by itself. You should end up with a fraction. There should be logarithms in places. And uh, you should get, get this ugly log expression inside a fraction. And then you should approximate that to the nearest thousandth using your calculator, either using uh, a log button or a change of base formula with first and then using your calculator, whatever it takes to get the answer. Okay, so pause the video, work all that out, and see if you can get it. Problem two is going to be, that we're going to solve, it's going to be negative three times e to the power of 4x plus 1 equal, sorry not equals, plus 9 equals 2. Okay, so same principle here, the variables in the exponent, so you're going to have to work through multiple steps to get through and remove all these things, all this arithmetic around the x. So you've got to strip those pieces away one layer at a time. So the first thing you want to do is get rid of the plus 9. So get rid of that. Make sure to get rid of it and do the same thing to both sides. Leaving behind negative 3 e, sorry I wrote that wrong, negative 3 times e to the 4x plus 1 equals something. Okay. The next layer you want to remove is the negative 3, the multiplication by negative 3. So get rid of that, do the same thing to both sides, and that's going to leave you with e to the 4x plus 1 equals something. Okay. The next layer you want to remove is the exponential in base e. How do you undo an exponential in base e? Whatever you do to it on the left side, make sure to do the same thing on the right side. And at that point, you'll have 4x plus 1 equals something. Okay? Finally, to get x by itself, subtract your 1 and divide by 4. And you'll end up with another log expression inside a fraction. Type that into your calculator. A hint, you will definitely not need a change of base formula to do this one. But see if you can get the decimal answer of this as well. Okay, so give those a shot. When you think you're done, uh, pause the video, give those a shot. When you think you're done, come back and I will give you the answers so that you can check them. 
Okay, so the answer to the first one is going to be log base 2 of 14 plus 1 all over 3. So log base 2 of 14 plus 1 all over 3. And when you type that into your calculator using a button where you can type log base 2 or converting this using the change of base formula, you should get about 1.602. Okay? So if you got it right, very nice. If you didn't, backtrack through the video and see if you can figure out where your error is, whether it be calculator or algebraic. Okay? All right, the answer to the second problem, let's see, is going to be the natural log of 7 thirds minus 1 over 4. Okay, so that's what you should get when you get x by itself. And typing that into the calculator, you should get about negative 0.038. Okay, so if you got that one right, very nice again. If not, backtrack through the video, see if you can figure out where you may have made an error. Good luck.